Welcome back folks to another episode of Homestead Fabricator, where I actually don't do any fabrication. <laughs> uh, long story on that one for uh, new subscribers. Uh, thanks to Chris from Minden Woodyard. Appreciate you, man. They uh, got a 12 subscriber bump as of uh, 8.33 uh, Saturday morning, so just 72 and a half hours after the first video release. Got 12 subscriber bumps, that's pretty awesome. It might be, you know, one or you know, a couple of weeks, but 12 in three days, that's pretty good. Uh, how the name originated, well, that's a little story of it in and of itself. I had uh, 10 acres of land, sold it just over two years ago, actually. Uh, just over two years ago. And I was going to start doing a, running a firewood and small welding shop business there. Do one of Kenya, you know, like fire pits or fire rings and stuff. Not true rings, squared rings, so outdoor fireplaces, whatever. Possibly some artwork if I could. I couldn't figure out what to do for a channel name, so a friend suggested Homestead Fabricator. So, that, that uh, kind of stuck with me. Now that I'm not doing any fabrication, I tried the uh, welding shop. I just had too many back issues because uh, my back just wasn't strong enough to handle leaning over projects and welding that were too big after a while to fit on the table. So I can only weld so much on the table. Then I had to put it on the floor and weld, you know, with it, you know, at waist level. I'm leaning over, grinding and cleaning up welds and stuff, you know, to, uh, you know, grind the, flatten them out you know sometimes you know i over welded so but now i'm just doing firewood and i sold uh three four foot racks and 180 foot rack <laughs> yeah an 80 foot rack that would be a pretty impressive sale eight foot rack and i split some of the wood that chris cut up still got close to two cords there uh, move my log splitter. I'll finish working on that. Uh, looking at these logs, how they're sitting, I can get most of these done up to that big log, which is actually an ash. Some people were thinking that's oak. But this big log is ash. When I split the two rounds that were cut off of it, that filled up two rows in my truck. Nearly two row, two full rows in the truck for, for uh, just out of two rounds from that big log. I have a red oak down at the other end of the pile where logger Al did some cutting. We got a little deal going where he works and he gets credit off of a saw that I got. So, yeah, it's working out. You know, three of those rounds would easily fill the uh, the r one row on the truck. I think those are a little bit smaller. Maybe how oh, close to the same. And it's got close to, close to cord here. That one log alone will uh, make out, you know, we'll fill up most of the truck bed when it's cut. So and after that stuff's moved out of the way, shift the logs and then, you know, so then they don't come tumbling down. It's only, oh, shoot from here, you're looking at six, six and a half feet, depending on the exact log. Like this one is closer to seven foot. Yeah. Well, it's not terribly high. But, yeah. Not a whole lot going on this other than selling a few racks. I got my time off for Midwest Firewood Frenzy. I got the July 2nd off so I can uh, restock on Thursday. Hopefully I get in early enough from work. That'd be nice. But I'll probably be dropping off the load at the yard. Uh, the trucking yard. So. Oh, well, that's it for 
the weekly update. I like these videos so I don't have to do a whole lot of work when it's you know warm and humid out. Today is just a little humid. It's not all that hot. Light breeze. Humidity and dew point is up there, but the temperature is like 10 degrees cooler than last weekend. So that's good. And if I oh, if I only had sharp saws, I gotta touch them up. So I don't I don't have a shop at home or an easy place to do it because my truck still has the uh, blown brake line. I haven't fixed that yet. Otherwise, I'd take the truck home and touch up the chains in the evening after I uh, cleaned up and re cleaned up for the day and relax and get ready for the next day. And well, now to go on with the rest of the day, get out there, do something, and get cutting. Bye bye.